Okay, so this video is how to drain the hen with a lot of um, fluid in her abdomen. And she is an example. She's older, and this is what happens when they get older and their reproductive tract starts failing and, you know, all these things happen. So, first of all, you want to use um, an adequate sized needle with this large syringe. So the needle um, is should be either... 19 gauge or 20 gauge which is brown i'm pretty sure like all countries use this color coding system so you want either the brown 19 or the yellow 21 wait 20 gauge <laughs> yeah yellow 20 gauge or brown 19 gauge and this is what you don't want blue way too small it's 25 gauge um and then green is 21 gauge also way too small probably not gonna work this is definitely not gonna work no way in hell is this gonna do anything so you have to <laughs> I mean if you didn't have anything else you could try green but mostly you want yellow or brown okay so the first step is to trim away all these feathers so she's really fluffy so you just gotta really trim it and it's, it's not going to be beautiful, and it's going to take a long time to grow back, but it doesn't matter because she's probably not going to live that long anyway if she has all this fluid buildup. But, so, you trim away all the feathers, and then you take your um, alcohol, and you want to sterilize the area. And alcohol um, is also essential because it makes the feathers kind of part, whereas water doesn't. So, alcohol is, like, good for getting the feathers feathers to part so you can see the skin. So we have to see the skin. If there's feathers in the way, you're not going to be able to do anything. So, um, yeah. And then, so the general place you're going to do it is on her right side, her right side, because the left side has the oviduct, so don't do that side. So her right side is right here. And if you don't want to flip them over, which often you don't want to, because it makes it harder for them to breathe. Hey girl. Um, in general, the area you're going to do is um, look, it's two fingers width from her vent, basically. But, you know, you got to move it around. So it's more or less two fingers width. And then you just kind of feel around for something that feels like it's, it's quite thin. Like, to me, it feels like the skin is quite thin right here. But here, it gets thick. So, you know, you want to put the needle in two fingers away, but also, like, wherever this it feels like the most full and the skin feels the most stretched. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. If it feels really thin, it usually goes in. And if it doesn't feel thin, you know, if it feels like the skin's kind of thicker in one area, that's not a good area. I don't know why it doesn't work, but it doesn't work whenever I do it in a thicker area. Okay, here we go. So here we have our needle. Um, and you can just hold them in your lap. Hey, no, you don't like that. Um, and they're surprisingly sedate when they're being stuck with things. I don't know why, but they are. So I'm going to stick this needle in. And it's around two fingers width in this general area. And I'm feeling around for um, the fullest area. And to me, okay, we're going to try this one right here. Yeah. Um, so it'll most probably work. If it doesn't work, you just try another area. Sort of. But at some point, you have to give up because it's torture if you don't get it, like, in the first five times. So, here we go. No! Oh, oh, she didn't like that. Okay. But it's okay, girl. She didn't like it, but, you know. So, here we go. We're going to try to get the fluid out. So, I'm doing this with only myself. But if I had a helper, it might be easier. So, okay. Now, I'm holding the syringe like this so it just drains out. So, you can see... All this yellow fluid is coming out. Blah, blah, blah. And um, she has to be drained regularly, like maybe every 10 days. And as she gets older, it'll probably get more, like every week. And so, okay, so when the syringe is full, you kind of unwind the needle. See, it's dripping too. And then I squirt out the syringe. Oops, I was trying to squirt it out into this jar here. Wow, my hand looks huge. Okay, go away, huge hand. My huge hand is in the way. Okay, I don't know 
why it is so hard to squeeze out. Go, go, go. Okay, the plunger is very not smooth. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna attach it to the thing again, and you know, we're doing it this way so we don't have to keep pulling it out and stabbing them over and over because it's bad for them and they don't like it. So, okay, we're doing another one. So, yeah, I'll probably get like five syringe holes out of her. Um, and like, so this is good, but sometimes it's not like this. This is just like ascites fluid, but sometimes it's like abdominal fluid that has egg in it. And then, and then the fluid will become really gooey and you can't drain it. Um, and it's very frustrating and you'll stab them and like absolutely nothing will come out. And yeah, it won't come out if it's like gooey. How do I do this? Okay. Yeah. And then you're just kind of screwed. You have to, I don't know, they need surgery to get it out if it's gooey. Yeah. But if it's thin like this, which is like, I don't know, 70% of the time it's thin like that, then you can do it. And also, another thing is, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. so, okay, say this, say I stabbed it right here and it didn't work. Sometimes if you like move it around, like, you know, like that, or like, pull it in or pull it a little bit more out then it'll like hit a fluid pocket and then you can drain it and sometimes it seems like you can drain them and then nothing nothing happens and that's because the fluid can be it's not necessarily always in front right under the abdominal wall like this sometimes the fluid is underneath you know other things like it, it could there could be other things in the way like her intestines could be in the way so that's why you want to like not stick it in very far and also you only do it where there's a lot of fluid because if, the, if you don't then you run more of a risk of stabbing the intestines or you know gizzard or liver and uh we don't want to do that not gizzard what did i mean to say not gizzard anyway the other thing there's organs in there you don't want to stab so see, so all this, all this fluid's coming out. And then the last thing to say is that, oh, silly girl, how do I get this out? Um, what was the last thing I was going to say? What was I going to say, girl? Hmm? Oh yeah, the last thing is that you don't often, like, if it's really full, you, hers is pretty full, so I'm going to probably just keep going until I get like four or five syringe holes. But if it's really full, you don't want to make it completely flat because that can kind of be a shock to their system and then that's bad for them and yeah, got rid of all that yuck, yucka, yucka. It's a little bit viscous, it's not totally like water. Um, yeah, so, you know, just do it till it feels like a normal abdomen and then you can maybe do more later, but you're not supposed to drain it so it's like huge and then tiny. Just drain it till it's like normal-ish. Yeah, and, um, I think that's all that I would say. I can't think of anything else. So, oh, yeah, and the needle fell out. And also, sometimes they'll just drip, you know, it'll just drip on its own for a couple of hours or something. Hmm. Minutes, hours. Anyway, yeah, that's it. And you were a very good girl. That's right. Um, yeah, so that's the end.